Today I am going to go through the workings of the grazing planner on the PBI Grass app. I have synchronized the app to make sure that it is up, it is up to date. I am here on the home screen um, and I can I select cover data, the first option. Then I select the planner which is halfway down the screen. The last cover for this farm was taken on the 27th of March and the farm had a, a growth rate of 30 kilos so you can see that that we use the 30 kilos here as the projected growth rate below are the paddocks um, on the farm they are linked from the highest cover to the lowest cover um, they are orange because i suppose we are grazing them at the moment um, and uh, the herd demand is set by the values which are entered in the the livestock section so the number of cows and how much grass you're allocating per cow so if we take a look at the first paddock here, paddock 16-18, it has a cover of 2200, an area of 2.8 hectares, and this equates to 1.2 days feed. By the time we get down to, we'll say for example, paddock uh, 22, sorry, 122, um, there's a cover, a measured cover of 1900 on it, but by the time we get into it, um, the cover has increased by 1990. So we're simply adding on the growth rate for each day um, by, the time we get, by the time we get to the paddock. If we wanted to graze paddock um, 122 first, you just simply click on the up arrow here beside 122 and it, it brings it up the, up the list. So now we're, we're going to graze paddock um, 122 first, cover of 1900, 3.1 hectares and 1.2 uh, days feed in that paddock. Um, so if you wanted to skip a paddock, for example, um, you can see that the cover here on paddock 16-18 is very high. If you just simply click on the X arrow here, um, and it just simply skips it. Also, if you wanted to change the projected growth rate, um, if, if the growth rate was going to increase or decrease over the next seven days or the next couple, couple of days, um, you can just change it and it will update in the figures um figures below i suppose the planner is a good way of calibrating your measurement and to make sure that you're getting the the correct number of grazings from each paddock um, if you wanted to see what what paddock you will be in in seven days time you can just simply click it here off the drop down list and after five days um we will we'll be in paddock 511 all being equal and i suppose that, that everything works out um, so if we can go back to the start again, um, um, we can see our planner here. You can also put in graze dates. So if you just click in, in, a, in on one of the paddocks here, um, you can enter the graze date and you can put in the pre-grazing yield as well. Click save and we can see then that that paddock is grazed and it, it, it is no longer in, in the plan. So that's the planner um, on the PBI Grass app. Thank you.